I'm back with a movie review today. Um, this one's, I'm gonna be upfront, this one is not a positive review. Um, as you know, through most of my videos, I always find something I like about something. Usually it's not negative at all. I have one positive thing from this entire film. So, here's negative Nancy time talking about Mile 22. I have not heard a lot of people talk about this movie at all, and it's obvious why it's very bad. Um, and I'm at movie theaters a lot, and I see, like, no one going to see it. When I saw it at 7 p.m. on Thursday night, there was maybe two other people there, and this was opening weekend for it, so it wasn't very good. Um, so Mile 22, it's... Um, Mark Wahlberg, who I adore, I love Mark Wahlberg, don't get me wrong, but this is not the movie for him. He is a CIA spy person, and he has a bad temper, like, it doesn't explain why, like, there's obviously something wrong, he has a rubber band, he snaps all the time, but he still has a Boston accent because it's Mark Wahlberg, but it doesn't fit the character or the situation at all. They could have done a lot with the character. There was um, some options they could have done, but they didn't do anything. There was definitely potential, but it wasn't explored. Uh, Mark Wahlberg is a very specific actor and is made for very specific films. If he's not in the specific films, he doesn't do well. The greatest example is The Departed. That's a perfect role for him, perfect film. He needs to be in stuff like that. This was not the right thing. And... It's supposed to be an action film where they're basically um, shielding this double agent, trying to get the info out of him, but it goes badly. It's just a mess. The action sequences were terrible. Like in my last movie review, I talked about how great Mission Impossible was with their stunt sequences. What they did right, Mile 22 did wrong. I don't know whether it's between I saw the two back to back because I saw Mission Impossible on Tuesday, then Mile 22 on the Wednesday or Thursday or whatever, whether I saw them back to back. So, yeah, so it was unfortunate. Um, and then there's Ronda Rousey. Ugh, um, I've done martial arts for majority of my life, and I love strong females. I love strong female action sequences. So if this had been an, um, a film with good fight sequences and good action scenes, then Ronda Rousey would have been good if that was the purpose. But it wasn't. Ronda Rousey was supposed to be this um, female agent who was pow had power but also vulnerable. And in my opinion, Ronda Rousey's not a very good actress. Um, you got to use her to her strengths. Like when she was in Fast and the Furious, she was great because that was the purpose. So it wasn't, and it was bad. Her character dies, and it's, I didn't feel anything. It was really. It was just a bad death scene. And then there's another female character, I can't remember her name, who had a daughter. It was a whole thing. It was just a mess. And I'm not even sure what happened in the ending. The whole film is a mess. Uh, let me pull up and see what the Rotten Tomatoes score is because it can't be good. I should have checked this before. Because usually Rotten Tomato I usually agree with. Let's see what it has to say about good old Mile 22. Mile 22, here we go, 2018 film, 22% on Rotten Tomatoes, 22%, that's how bad it is, oh my gosh, 22%, yeah, he's a CIA agent, I was right, 22%, if that tells you anything, let's pull up what Mission Impossible is, which was an action film done correctly. And action's not my favorite genre either. As I've explained, I like the drama essence of films. Yeah, 97% on Rotten Tomatoes for Mission Impossible. 22% for Mile 22, 97 for Rotten Tomatoes. So, and Mission Impossible's still pulling out huge crowds, and it's been out for almost two months now. So if that shows you, action films can be done correctly, and target audiences that usually don't go for them. So... Mile 22 was a disappointment. I highly recommend you don't see it. If you want a film that's like Mile 22, 
go see Mission Impossible. And that's all I have to say about that. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, I should have more Broadway stuff coming up and more fall subscription fun stuff. So thanks for watching. Bye.